my job. If I get caught, I'll swear I got in with a skeleton key. Come on. Well, all right, if you'll, if you'll keep me out of it. But uh, I, I don't like it. Here you are, miss. Now you stand by this radiator, and if you hear him coming, you hammer on it. All right, miss, but I don't like it. It'll be all right. Good afternoon, Mr. Martini. Hello. Miss Terry, in apartment A. Uh, just a moment. Every speakeasy in town. Where are you? I'm at home. What's on your beautiful little mind? A little mind? Plenty. Listen, I've just found something. Did you ever hear of a man by the name of Denny Fagan? What was that? Did you drop something? No. Don't say any more. I'll be right up. Steel revolver, black blackjack, pink toothbrush. Well, what in the world? I'm spending the night. Here? Certainly. You know, I didn't like that sound over the telephone. Somebody was listening in. What's this about Denny Fagan? Do you remember the case? Certainly. He was sent to the chair for killing Julius Brinkman. Well, look at this. What? We found this in Harker's thing. Hmm. Anything else? Plenty. Guess whose mob he was in. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. About Mr. Josephus Martinis. Yes, Mr. Josephus Martinis. I just got the dope on it from the office. There may be something in it, and then again, no. Listen, if Kobe killed his wife, and then Harker, and the case is closed, who's interested enough in this apartment to listen in over the phone? Surely Kobe wasn't listening in from the morgue. Mm -hmm. Let's hope not. He's a friend of mine. 
never mind. Keep your hands off him. Certainly. Hello? This is Miss Terry. Will you send the janitor up right away? The lights have gone out. Thank you. There's the eye. Thanks, Augusta. Want a lemon? Yes, Augusta. Lemon. You know, come to think of it, this Fagin kid was supposed to be mixed up in Mark. Oh. <laughs> that got it, miss. Oh, uh, I'll see if any of the globes are burned out. All right, thanks. Still looking for the lemon. I'll find it. Some people would think I'm a swell guy. Oh, you're great. Yeah? Well, that's your idea. You're only showing off for my benefit. I can use a gun. Yeah. You'd probably shoot me and become a widow before you tasted the joys of being married to me. Good heavens, what a man. Certainly. Why don't you shut up and go to bed? Well, I can't very well go to bed with you hanging around here. Oh, I'm leaving. And if anything should happen, you stay in here and keep the door locked. Even if I hear you yelling, Pat, Pat, come save me. Certainly. Oh, go to the devil, will you? Don't drink all the scotch. That's it. Take them up and keep them up. Now then, maybe you'll tell me what you're doing in here. Martini. Yeah, old dry martini himself. You stay here. Don't be silly. There's a deep cut in the head, but I'm not satisfied. I want an autopsy. All right. All right, Martini, talk. Now you talk. What was one of your men doing in my place? Finding enough evidence to send you up for life. Yeah, did he have a search warrant? I wouldn't be a bit surprised. Weston was probably trying to serve it on you when you killed him. Uh, you'll have to come stronger than that. I wasn't even in the apartment when he died. How do you know when he died? I heard him yell. 
They heard him yell, too. I was with them when it happened. So you can't pin this on me. Maybe not. But I can pin about six gang killings on you, and that ought to be enough. Take him down and lock him up. Who? Me? No, Wilfred. I want him locked up. All right, Brown. Take a couple of men with you. Yes, sir. Shall I earn him? You bet. And keep your eye on him every minute. This is going to cost you your job, Russell. You shouldn't threaten a police officer. It isn't polite. Get going. Go up to the penthouse. I want to have a little talk with you. You stay here until I come back. May I make a suggestion? And no, Wilfred. Make it to the doctor. I'm tired. here another night for all the tea in China. <laughs> You're smarter than somebody else I know. I want you to get out of here in the morning. You're not only in danger, you're just plain dumb. When you found this letter, why didn't you bring it? I was going to. You were going to. But first, you thought you'd be smart. You had to go messing around in Martini's apartment. He didn't see me. He saw you all right. He thought you got the paper that my man got. He was here tonight to get it back. And in being here, he saved his own life. What makes you think that? Brains and a valentine. <laughs> I can't figure out yet how the mistake was made. But my man got what was intended for Martini. We found Dini's apartment. And I was right. Kobe didn't kill them. Maybe. Augusta, you look like you're going to a funeral. I am, ma'am. Mr. Harker's. Oh. And they're burying Mr. and Mrs. Covey today, too. And if I hurry, maybe I can catch them both. Well, have fun. Why, Miss Terry, how you do say such dreadful things.